Colorado, a popular fall attraction that honestly up until a few days ago was not going to be able to open this fall as it always has. This story has a happy ending. It's about community. It's about people who saw a need and stepped up to do something. Caroline Vandergriff takes you to Flower Mound where the pumpkin patch tradition is all gourd to go. This is the story of how one person can truly make a difference, even in the life of someone they don't know. The woman who runs the Flower Mound Pumpkin Patch and the woman who decided to save it were strangers until today. Okay, <laughs> how are you? Oh, so good honey. To see you. Where's oh, my God, we did it, didn't we? Where's your we angel? did it. Let me see your angel wings. <laughs> it's an emotional first meeting for Jan Balakian and Christy Becca. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Their only tie to each other is the love of this place. The Flower Mound Pumpkin Patch is home to countless memories for thousands of families across North Texas. It was truly just a whim that we decided to do this. And every year it kept growing. But Balakian thought the 30 year tradition would come to an end this year after they couldn't hire enough help. I mean, it was devastating for me. Her Facebook post announcing the closure went viral and captured Becca's attention. I've been bringing my children here since they were born. Becca runs a nonprofit dedicated to supporting local women-owned businesses. She created a post of her own, determined to find staff, and was overwhelmed by the response. I can't believe how our community has just rallied together. With nearly 350 people now willing to work, crews are logging long hours to get everything ready for the crowds to come in less than two weeks. It's such a Hallmark moment. Like, yeah. I feel like we <laughs> saved the pumpkin patch. We did it. We did it. We did it. We the first shipment of pumpkins should arrive tomorrow, and the goal is to open the patch on October 1st, as originally planned. In Flower Mound, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. Boy.